The British Parliament has just approved a bill to raise university tuition fees in England. The vote came amid mass demonstrations by thousands of students and trade unionists. It turned out the largest in a string of rallies against sweeping austerity measures and budget cuts across Europe. Well, RT's Laura Emmett is in London for us with the latest developments from the streets there. Laura, so it finally happened. The vote went through in favour of that fee increase. Give us the details. That's right, Bill. It went through by a fairly narrow majority, really. Uh, 323 MPs voted for the cuts and 302 voted against. That's been a bit of a turnaround just in the last couple of days. Uh, it was reported that uh, the head of the Liberal Democrat Party, Nick Clegg, had managed to make all his ministers vote in favour of the cuts, but that turned out not to be the case as, as some of them turned around and either abstained or, or, or indeed voted against them. Uh, what we've seen on the streets of London today has been extraordinary and is still going on. This street that I'm standing on now is usually a hugely busy thoroughfare. I'm on the embankment just very close to the river at Westminster about 300 metres behind me. Uh, but this, the whole of central London around uh, Westminster and the Houses of Parliament has been closed off to traffic for practically the entire day. There would usually be throngs of traffic on this road. We're in the middle of rush hour at the moment, but as you see, uh, nothing. Some of these people that you can see uh, passing by behind me are normal commuters on their return home from work, but some of them are demonstrators leaving that demonstration, obviously disappointed that their, their voices essentially haven't been heard by their government. But 300 metres away from me, outside the Houses of Parliament, is still a big, angry demonstration going on. Uh, firecrackers being thrown, flares being sent up into the air, uh, the air full of acrid smoke as something was set on fire earlier, we're not quite sure what it was, which sent uh, hundreds of uh, uh, smoke hundreds of feet into the the air. Um, earlier on I spoke to some of the student demonstrators and uh, this was before the vote took place but they said that this is not the last time that they're going to be turning out onto the streets of London. Let's hear what they had to say. The Lib Dems have shattered their supporters beliefs and hopes and it's just disgusting. I think if the fees got up to maybe £4,000 you wouldn't have this crowd here today. I don't have that much optimism really but um but this today isn't the end. I mean, I think it's still carry on, and we've got March, and uh, I think we just keep going on until until they listen to us. Hopefully, it's a bit more positive and more effective than it is at the moment. Now, this uh, vote that has been passed, these, this hike in tuition fees, will result in tuition fees for some students wanting to go to university being trebled uh, to around $14,000. And these students are out on the streets saying that they can't afford that. They can't afford to be crippled with debt uh, into their middle age. And this is, a, this is a, an extension, really, of what's been going on in the rest of Europe over the last few months. We've seen a, a wide range of demonstrations, uh, including one most recently in Ireland, in Dublin, uh, this week. Uh, where austerity measures were passed, the toughest budget that Ireland has ever seen. And we also heard today that uh, allied Irish banks will be paying their employees bonuses of 40 million euros, despite having had to be uh, bailed out by the EU and the IMF. And really what these protesters are saying is that they don't want to carry on paying for the excesses of bankers and property, property speculators and the, and the privileged few. And as I say, this demonstration is certainly not over outside the Houses of Parliament is an extremely angry a crowd, a lot of policemen, uh, and, and we, we're going to see this going on into the night. Well, Laura, yes, no doubt uh, we'll be hearing more from you throughout the night there in London. Thanks very much. In the meantime, RT's Laura Emmett live from London.